Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this specific tutorial, I'll be covering the concepts on storage devices. Before I start my tutorial, I'm a blogger and I write my blog at techieandtravel.com. Do check it out. And if you like my videos on YouTube, please like, share, subscribe and comment on it. So let's start with the concept on storage device because storage is one of the core fundamental concept of modern computers. So all of us are used to a PC or any laptop which uses a certain form of storage device to store the data because storage device provides core function on the modern computer. There are primary storage types which are the many storage types and they are directly accessible by the CPU. And then there is secondary storage which are the external storage that are connected to the PC or computer and they are primarily used to store huge amount of personal data. Let's talk about the primary storage. Primary storage are also called the main memory. They are directly or indirectly connected to the CPU and CPU reads the stored instructions from the memory or the primary storage. So the first type of uh, primary storage is read-only memory or ROM. This memory is used as the computer begins to boot up. So small programs called firmware, they are often stored in the ROM chips as you see in the picture. And they contain instructions the computer can use in performing some of the most basic operations that are required to operate the hardware devices. The next type of primary storage is random access memory and it is called RAM or random access memory because any of the data in RAM can be accessed just as fast as any other data. And then the next type is CAS, which is a high speed access area that can either be a reserved section in the main memory or any storage device. The next type of storage is secondary storage, which CPU does not have direct access into and PC or computer, they use IO channel to access and transfer the data. So the type of secondary storage can be a hard disk that we are used to floppy drives and memory cards, USBs and CD and DVD ROMs are part of the secondary storage. We are going to discuss about the core component of the secondary storage called hard disk. So hard disks are usually the largest data storage device in the computer and they can store data from megabytes to the range of terabytes. And speed is actually the content read and write um, speed on the hard disk. And the rotation speed varies from 4500 to 7200 RPM. It can be an external or an internal hard disk. There are different types of hard disk that we are going to discuss in this tutorial. Uh, PATA, SATA, SCSI, SSD and NVMe are the ones that I'm going to cover in this tutorial. So before I start covering these topics, I want to discuss about the important component called bus. So as you see in the picture, it's a picture of a motherboard, which is a printed circuit board and provides connectivity between the hardware components of a computer like CPU, RAM, hard drive, video card, etc. So to provide connectivity to these components, we have a special concept called bus. So essentially bus is a channel or path between the components in a computer. So every computer has an internal bus or an external bus. As the name suggests, internal bus is used to communicate between the internal components, whereas external bus is capable of communicating with the external peripherals. So there are certain type of buses or common buses that are used in a computer like SATA bus, which is used for connecting or communicating with the computer hard drives. We have PCI bus, which is used for communicating with things like hard disks and sound cards. We have PCIe, which is a computer expansion cards. And we have USB, which is a universal serial bus. And it is a way of connecting things like camera, scanner or printers uh, to your computer. And then we have Thunderbolt bus, which is used for peripherals connected to the USB-C cable. So we need a certain interface to connect these storage devices in the motherboard. So that's where the uh, different hard drive types are distinguished based on the interface. So let's talk about that. The first one is PATA hard drive. So SATA and PATA are the bus interface for connecting the hard drives. Both SATA and PATA are parts of computer and SATA and PATA are the versions of ATA or ATA. 
there are two different ways in which a hard drive can be connected to the computer. So PATA is a parallel advanced technology advancement hard drive which are the first hard drive. They are also referred as IDE or integrated drive electronics and the internal structure of the PATA hard drive has a lot of mechanical moving parts and the term parallel in PATA refers to the fact that the data is sent 16 bits at a time through a single 16 bit connection which is used for traveling in both direction of sender and receiver. So PATA it actually uses a larger connector pins for data and then the four pins for power. And the next one is SATA which is faster than the PATA types and both the SATA and PATA they rely on spinning disks or platter to read and write the data and SATA has evolved from the PATA which was the first hard disk. So serial in SATA refers to the fact that data are sent one bit at a time down the single connection in each direction. So there is a separate connection for data going in and out of the device and in this specific SATA hard disk you see that the large one is for power and the smaller one is used for data. Next we are going to talk about the SCSI hard drives. So SCSI is a popular type of connection for storage and other devices in the PC and it makes use of the SCSI standard and it can be connected both internally and externally. SCSI interfaces are used internally in computers to connect different types of hardware devices directly to the motherboard or storage controller card and external connections are also common and they are typically connected via an external port on the storage controller card with, with a cable. So within this controller is a memory chip that holds the SCSI BIOS which is a piece of integrated software that's used to control the connected devices. So the biggest difference between the SCSI and the um, SATA or PATA hard drive is that in SCSI there is a processor on the drive itself which makes it really faster. So SCSI hard drives are faster than the SATA or PATA technology. So the next one are the solid state drive or the SSD drives and these disks they don't have any moving parts. They are the new generation of storage devices and in SSD data is stored on the interconnected flash memory which is called NAND and they use a simple non-volatile memory chip which has no moving parts unlike the SATA or PATA hard drives and they have near instant access times that's why it's faster in speed. It does not have any needle that has to move to read and write the data and that's why they are significantly faster than the SATA drives. So to attach the solid state drive on your system you need a certain specific interface. So in your motherboard there is a PCIe slot which is a peripheral component interconnect express and it is a serial expansion bus standard that's mostly used to connect to the graphic card, network card or other high performance peripheral. And NVMe SSDs or non-volatile memory express SSDs, they are a communication standard that was developed specifically for SSD and NVMe SSD they use the PCIe slot on the motherboard that's why they are faster and the term express in the NVMe the, it refers to the fact that data travels over the PCIe express interface on the computer motherboard. So in summary we have a motherboard we have a bus to allow communication between various components and we have interfaces to connect the storage devices to the motherboard to allow it to communicate to the CPU memory or other devices in the computer and based on the interface they use we have different type of hard drives and these hard drives they evolved from the initial PATA and SATA technology to the iSCSI technology and from the iSCSI technologies to the solid state drives and right now NVMe SSDs are one of the latest ones that use PCIe slot which is a uh, high speed slot and that's why the data speed is really faster with the NVMe SSDs. So if you like my channel please like share and subscribe. We'll talk about other important topics in the further videos. Thank you.